How's it going, guys? Chef Lee here. The Alaskan halibut is one of my favorite fish to cook with. It is low in calorie and fat. He also has a good amount of potassium, which is really healthy for our body. Today, I'll be showing you one of my quick and easy halibut recipes from the beginning to finish. For this recipe, you will need one pound fresh Alaskan halibut. We're going to season the fish generously with salt and black pepper. Turn the fish over and repeat the steps. Set it to the side and move on to the next step. Next, we're going to cut some onion and garlic. Heat up two and a half cup of chicken stock on the stove and drop in the onion and garlic we have just finished cutting with. Once the soup comes to a boil, pour in one half cups of green peas and cook it until softened. When the peas are cooked, it's time to string it out. Reserve the stock on the side. Next, place the peas into a food processor and puree it over the highest setting. Season with salt. Make sure we taste it. If the puree gets too dry, add in more stock, little at a time, until we reach a consistency that we like. Pour in some olive oil in a nonstick pan over high heat. Put in a halibut. The fish will cook really quickly. Turn the fish around. We are looking for a golden brownish color. The cooking process will only take a couple minutes. Once you reach a good color, it's time to squeeze in some lime juice to deglaze the pan. This will help to flavor the fish and lock in that flavor. Turn the heat off, we're going to drop in our thyme tomato. Using the residual heat to cook uh, the tomato and thyme. Uh, I added about, uh, I think was two teaspoons of butter. 
Now the whole the whole time, remember uh, the heat is off. Set it on the side. Okay, now it's time to dish up. Green pea puree goes onto the plate first. I thought it would be lumpy. Um, usually, what I do is I have the puree uh, go through a fine sifter, um, but it tastes alright. Um, so, I also understand that some of you might not have a sifter. Uh, so, the next thing you want to place the fish on top of the puree with the tomatoes on the side. Time. And this is totally optional. Uh, I also added some uh, lime zest uh, just to give it a little more flavor to serve it. Just drizzle a little bit of the thyme butter onto the fish. And this is it guys. Uh, this is my quick and easy Alaskan halibut recipe. I hope you really like and learn something today. Have fun cooking guys. And I will see you next time.